it's not going. We are live, everybody. Hi. Hi. What's going on? I see Joey's out there. I see Vape and Buckeyes out there. Alan Gorby, James Rivera. What's up, everybody? I guess people are going to start wandering in. A lot of people are still over on, uh, probably watching Rin's, uh, Rin's stream, which is fine, you know. Oh, there's Vapex. Hey, buddy. Haven't seen you in a minute. What's going on, brother? So how's everybody's week going? Yeah, we're waiting on Moose. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he, yeah, he's traveling kind of slow. He's, uh, he's, mm -hmm. oh, we've got George Jocelyn out there and he's got Becky with him. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, guys? Where are you at today, George? You, last I saw you were in Albuquerque. Raven Shadows out there. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, hey, girl. Hey, you didn't yeah. do that right. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Gareth Martin, what's up, brother? Yeah, we, it's that time of year, though. I mean, it's going to be a little slow. Oh, it's shut down went fast. Boat. Yeah, well, you guys need to start making some cars again so I can stay busy. So I ain't got no problem with that. Buckeye works over at Honda. And so is Alan. So how's everybody's week been so far? It's been all right. Uh, a lot of medical procedures. Yeah. I hear that. How about you, Tammy? I'm Welcome good. I was at the dentist Monday to get a new front tooth. <laughs> and the one that I yeah. was supposed to get didn't fit right. So I had to get a new chick look fit in. That's oh, what so I you got a grill. The, a grill um, the temporaries, I call them chicklets because they yeah. don't, they look like a piece of gum chiclet mm -hmm. stick in there. But actually this one looks pretty real. So cool. So anyway. you get a gold grill. What's that? A gold grill. Yeah, that's what we talked about. I was gonna get, but yeah, I didn't have mixing that. across the front. Yeah. Yeah, mixing. <laughs> the insurance didn't really go for that. No. No, they were like, no. Nope. <laughs> we don't do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, Buck, uh, you ain't kidding. There's, the CRV's got I think I may pass the accord as the number one seller for Honda. Yeah, Moose, where you at, brother? Knock, knock. You should. You shouldn't have any trouble getting in. You got the wrong link or what? I found it. I'm pretty computer literate. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's in the group chat, dude. Come in. We need you. Come on. We need the moose. He's not That's seeing it. the Zoom room. All right, I'll send it to you personally. How's that? Oh, my poor dog. She's in there going crazy. Wow. So today we're talking ice cream, Frank? That's right. We got the ice cream going today. He's old and blind. Bullshit. You're about half my age. There he is. There he is. There we go. I see Barry Hot out there. I see Zippy out there. Colby's out there. Awesome. Yeah, Moose and my cousin, who's older than me, um, almost got into a fight over um, a music video yesterday on Facebook <laughs> <laughs> because he said, you young kids and your music. Oh, God. <laughs> and Tom Moose was like, we can't help it because you didn't grow up in our generation. And he said, but I did, but he didn't really. He didn't oh. really. He's a good bit older. My black cat's out there. What's going on, Scott? He says he's naked. Oh, look how cool you look. Oh, jeez. Shades on. Oh, there we go. These are my excuse for not seeing the Zoom room. Oh, <laughs> you didn't run anybody over coming back from the nursery, did you? No, I'm just more convincing that I'm blind with them on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, ice cream, huh? Yeah. Any kind, huh? Whatever you want to do. Maybe no one will see after the clone you put up last week. You'll probably just come up with something and be like, best fucking thing ever. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just take, you know, I'll save everyone the trouble of doing anything. We'll just take the azul berries, take out the custard, and, and put in a v put VBIC and call it a day. Yeah, just put liquid barns vanilla ice cream in there and you'll be a happy camper. That, yeah. Well, what do you know? Oh, there we go. We got our ice cream idea. Happy we'll, 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 we'll I know, right? <laughs> that, though. Liquid Barnes vanilla ice cream. I don't get an ice cream out of that. 
Really? I get more of a buttery custard than I do ice cream. When I think oh. of, when I think of ice cream, I'm using more, you know, either Capella's or Lorraine's or CFA's because I don't get the pepper note like a lot of people do. Yeah. Well, pepper is a thing that boosts vanilla, apparently. And you're crazy if you need to do that, though. I think you just need to find a good vanilla. No, but it's like more most... vanilla bean to that. If you want a vanilla note, just like a Madagascar type vanilla. Yeah. That at a quarter of percent. And yeah, you're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. The thing with ice cream, though, not everyone contains a vanilla. So if you want, because I'm the one that kind of prefers like the butter churned ice creams that are just like a straight creamy ice cream. It's, it doesn't really have anything in it. It's just mm-hmm. like rich. It's just richness like and coldness sweet, in your mouth. Like a sweet cream? But like a lot of like, like say if you get like a like a blueberry ice cream or something, chances are that it's not going to have a very strong, if any, vanilla note going on it. Like they won't use a vanilla bean really. They'll mm-hmm. just kind of use a, a straight butter ice cream. Like just a very creamy thing. That's what I like to go for. And that's, I think the liquid Barnes vanilla ice cream, it does got a little vanilla in it, but it is more on the, like you said, it's more on the buttery side, of a, like a buttery cream. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, oh yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's an excellent flavor. I just don't like, I use it more as a, as a, you know, a hurried up custard. So I, don't, I hate steeping. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like to look at Hang Sun's. Like if you want to like kind of uh, pair the concentrates to actual ice cream brands, mm-hmm. I think Hangson's French vanilla ice cream does a good job at being like plain vanilla Briar's ice cream. Ooh. It, it, it reminds me most of Briar's brand of ice cream. Yeah, I have to get that one. I, I think I literally have two Hankson flavors, Italian cream and Australian chocolate. That's it. Yeah. And then there's like TPA vanilla swirl that's not necessarily, it doesn't say it's an ice cream, but to me, it's an ice cream. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it reminds me most of soft serve. Actually, I might have been able to use that in this recipe I did today. I, I yeah. did one a couple of weeks ago, and then we didn't do the show. And that was the week we were supposed to do ice cream. And so it's steeped for two weeks. Well, I used the. Uh, with the one drop chocolate in it to make like a chocolate syrup in an ice cream sundae and yeah, it totally disappeared. Maybe if I would have tried <laughs> it a week ago, I might have found it, but it was gone. The only thing I could taste was the, the VBIC from Capella's and the half a percent of the cherry. I, I wanted to put a cherry on top and those, that's all I'm tasting is the cherry on top. <laughs> those one drops are meant to kind of be handled as Please put Lily back up. one shots, right? Okay. Pretty so, much. I mean, if you dilute them down, I guess, or if you're just using them as a yeah. drop. But I don't know. I don't know how they play with other flavors. Yeah, they're so new. I've used a few of them, and off the shake, they're good in a couple days, but you let them go more in a week and they disappear. I haven't yeah. found one. I have a bottle of a, a rad, I did like a raspberry watermelon, just used those two flavors. I don't know. And I bet if I vape it now, probably all I'll taste is the VG because everything else is probably gone because it's a couple of months old now. Sometimes it just can't beat those OG companies. They know That's what they're it. doing. Exactly. Nothing against I mean, one drop. I'm sure you guys have great flavors. And I'm probably sure I'll love a few of them. But if they don't, they, well, they can't. If you get the regular real flavors. flavors mixes, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, if you just get the regular real flavors, you know, PG base. They're they're way better mm. than the one drop. Concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. The they're, they're not really all that super concentrated either, though. They're no, still, they're not. No. They're still they're even a little bit on the weaker mm-hmm. side, but there's some decent ones over. I mean, what happened to Walt? Unfortunately, he's no longer with the company. That was wrong. He got bullied right out of his position, and that's a bullshit. Oh, I didn't know this. He, he got ran out by the community pretty much. He was harassed so bad over that one drop line. And just attacked so yeah. bad that he just said, "Fuck it," walked away. Quit really, company. I had no it was idea. His company, he walked away from it. He said, "Here, you take it. I'm done." He said, "Fuck you guys, I'm out." I had no idea. Wow, yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate. And that's, I mean, everyone that did that should be flat out ashamed of themselves. 
Exactly. I had no idea. Whatsoever. Yeah, it's it's one thing to tell a company and you're not happy with their product, but to just go out of your way to burn yeah. their burn them right. to the Hara- <laughs> I heard yeah. about the harassments and the threats and that that's uncalled for it for is. anything. Exactly. That's uncalled for. Like we're already a, in a sense and we're already a pretty cutthroat community as it is. Like if something's not good, we ain't going to waste our time with it, but right. go out of your way to put something yeah. down and stuff. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it was wrong. It was flat out wrong. It, it's re- customer reviews and, and sales and stuff like that. That That's enough. Like yeah. you don't need to go any further than that. You know, you don't need to be, you know, wow. getting a hold of the guy's personal email or whatever and just, you know, personally attacking the owner. Harassing him. That's, well, that's harassing I did not know he left. Yeah, yeah, he he couldn't, you know, it was just too much. And I don't blame him. I mean, it's bullshit. I mean, you, don't, you know, who yeah, does I mean, that? It makes it not fun for him anymore, so. Yeah. Right, and he loved that place. Oh, yeah, he was there on Sundays. He was doing live shows with Jack on Sundays. You know, he'd pop in and he'd be in the office and he'd be at home. That's a shame. That is a complete shame. Exactly. You know, right before the one drop line, uh, you know, dropped. And just, you know, he was he, he was doing stuff for it on, on the weekend. I'm like, come on, who does that? Someone that loves his company. And unfortunately, he just, you know, he lost the love for it, which, you know, he, like say, he got ran out. <laughs> he did trim the antlers. <laughs> Man, my friend <laughs> cut it for me. And I, I'm just convinced now after the second time he's cut my hair. That he just cuts it to how his hair looks. Like I told him, <laughs> I told him specifically three times, no fade, and there is a fade on the side of my head. I don't like. <laughs> I like the just the two tone, cut and dry. That's I got right. short hair here and long hair up here. Done. I got short hair here and less than short hair here. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure when I hit hit the old age and stuff, this stuff will start to recede back. My dad's did that. See, yes, son. You will. Yeah. yeah I'm you sorry, dad. That's right. Coming for me. <laughs> Nikki's out there in the chat. Love you, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Big hearts. Nikki helps us get set up and ready to rock and roll every week. So, Tam, you got some kick-ass recipes you're ready to share with us, don't you? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, I'm trying. Hold on. Give yeah. me a minute because I'm trying to get this one finished up on all the flavors. Okay. My um, my man vape. Oh yeah. <laughs> my your man Ken, vape. Your, your Ken doll. My what? Your Ken doll. Oh yeah, my Ken doll. Yeah, okay. To remind oh, me, see, seeing all the rainbows and everything, I'm like, yeah, it's more like a Ken doll then. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, if you're not ready, I, I can throw mine up real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. You go yeah. ahead, and then. Shit, you got Frank. Minutes. I should have been doing it earlier instead of wicking RDAs. What would you say, Alfredo? <laughs> the shit you got. All right. I love ice cream. Oh, let me get to break this screen here. Here we go. All right. So I just basically call it Sunday Scotch. You know, it's basically a butterscotch Sunday. Oh, and you know, the varying cream you know helps you know just give it a little bit extra creaminess, you know, a little bit of sweetness, and you know helps everything blend together or you know or hides you know some of your screw-ups flavor west butterscotch i mean i have flavor butterscotch i have flavor art butterscotch for some reason flavor west i keep going back to it i think it's my favorite it's my favorite butterscotch and the butterscotch ripple just gives it you know just add you know adds on top of it instead of just using the one it gives you a little bit of a different note Flavor is peanut butter. Anybody out there that hasn't tried it yet, get it. It's more of just a straight up peanut. I mean, you get, you know, you get a buttery note, but it's more very, very nutty. And, you know, what do you like best on a Sunday? You throw them nuts on top, sometimes a maraschino cherry or something like that. But not with butterscotch, obviously, but you know, throw a little nuts on top. And then you had the base using the vanilla ice cream. And I said, I mixed it up this morning and I've been going through it and it turned out decent. You know, it's, Got a, uh, you know, it's not, you know, it's all playing well together. Nothing's overpowering. You get the, well, the peanut butter is trying to, but I think after a few days, I think it'll help steep out a little bit better, but it's, it's good the way it is. So you use cat vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah. Just because I'm out of TPA and I don't get the pepper note from TPA anyway. And the cat mm-hmm. one, 
it's decent. I mean, you could probably use any other vanilla ice cream to sub out there. You can use Liquid Barn. You know, probably even the same percentage, maybe a little higher. Uh, you know, you're selling a Hank's in or even using vanilla swirl. You can throw that in instead. I'll go ahead and stop sharing that. Yeah, that one is public. Anybody that wants it, I'll go ahead. I'll copy and I'll put it out in chat. Okay, I'm about to. I got it. My computer is not nice. Oh, Karen made it in for a, a live show. Awesome. What's going on, Hi, Karen? Karen. And Core Vapes out there. What's going on? I, I, yeah, I didn't shout out Socrates yet. What's going on, brother? Our friend in Greece. There we go. It's out there in the chat. Anybody that wants it, it's public, so no issues there. Because Tammy, you did a couple of them, didn't you? You have a couple different ice creams? Yes. Okay, let me go. Let me pull up this other one because for whatever reason, my phone and my Okay, and I may just have to pull this one up on, on ELR too. Okay, I'm using ELR today. I'm gonna pull a Wayne Walker. There you go. And we're, I'm using ELR today because all the flavors is not cooperating with me. Yeah, this one, I it's funny. The ones that I really like, I'll put on all the flavors and then everything else goes on ELR. Well, if I really like them, I do both. But yeah. for some reason today, it's just not cooperating. Um, so let me pull this up. Um, my recipes. Okay, hold on. Oh, well, okay. Saturday's is seven hours ahead of us. Well, that's good. You can catch us while you're you know, winding down your day. Don't you love people that are in the future? I think that is so cool. Only if they had our Powerball numbers. Well, yeah, this is true. Okay. <laughs> this isn't the right name. I didn't change the name, but that's okay. It's called Ramp. Rampage. <laughs> Just go with me here, people. <laughs> okay, let me let me pull the picture up and then we'll okay, let me go back here and then let me share screen. <laughs> it's not rampage, but I, I'm like at least you didn't call it tampage because that just sounds like a tampon company. <laughs> <laughs> Like rampage of tampons. I, I just, I just combined the words rainbow, rainbow and champagne. <laughs> wow, I am so good. Rampage, rampage. You can get five gold okay. stars. Share screen. Let me. Effort. Thumbs up. I got the thumbs up there. We're doing good. Yeah. Share screen and. <laughs> There we go. Nope. Uh, share screen. Okay, here we go. Share okay. screen. Let me tell it. Tell it to do it. Yeah. There you go. Now. Ta -da. But I don't see it on my screen. That's what's no, so no. It's just saying it's it's black screen right now. Because my screen's white. Racist. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So no, it's not there. Okay, now There's, I'm getting it. Okay. Nope. But that's not it. Right, I got nothing. I got black screen. Yeah, it's a blank screen. That's a private recipe. That's not it. Oh, it's over here. This one's it. Let me see if you get it now. No, it's. Are you uh, are you clicking? Um, what are you clicking? Yeah, try. Uh, yeah, try. Try it again. Try uh, stop screen sharing and okay. try it again. Well, let me go new share. Let me say. Okay. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even Buckeyes look surprised. He's just playing with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if this comes up, everybody's going to be like, whoa, okay. Well, as long as we're not seeing your Pornhub account, we're good. What's that? As long as we're not going to see your Pornhub account pop up, we're good. I know, right? <laughs> Gosh forbid that happened. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tammy, send it to me. I'm gonna stop. Let's see. Can I stop your share? Apparently, my. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Now you got something. There we go. Okay. This is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Oh, we got it. Yeah, it's the picture. It's the picture Dreamy rainbow buddy. floats. Okay. This is for all the chicks out there that have to look at all the girl pics on all the flavor websites when they get published. Okay, but I have to change the name because I originally it's Rainbow Champagne Ice Cream Punch. Okay. So imagine a punch and it's got rainbow sherbet, but it's also um, covered with champagne and juice and stuff like that. So it's a float of, of orange sherbet, rainbow orange sherbet inside a punch bowl of champagne. I've had something similar to this before. I mean, you know, in real not, not a vape, but you know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, that, okay. Like, you see it sometimes at weddings and stuff like that. So, um, what I used was, of course, my trusty vanilla bean ice cream, vanilla ice cream from Liquid Barn, uh -huh. and I like to use it at four percent to get that um, density out of it to get that creaminess. Oh, yeah. And then I backed it up some vape train French vanilla to get some egg, I guess egginess more the uh, more of an authentic true ice cream. But then I also had the rainbow sherbet to give it that sherbet taste. So mm -hmm. it's really a combo of a ice cream, but with rainbow sherbet. Can you see that too? A pop up on my screen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mike Kaufman. <laughs> yeah. Um, Must be a different group. I didn't get that notification. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Um, so, there... Okay, it's still there. So, I have those three. And then I have my fruits. The mango juice... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go back. The blood orange champagne is the champagne, of course. And then mm -hmm. I have mango juice and passion fruit mango in there to, to add with that um citrus kind of um oh my words are, are yeah i know yeah, yeah you had yeah. like that it's almost a, like a tropical yeah tr the tropical note yeah mm -hmm. but it's really really good and i actually have it in my mouth to lung r t r d r d a uh-huh what is this one i don't know what this one is am it but I'll quit screen sharing now. But I'll let you look at the picture one more time. Hold on, because everybody needs to see that again. <laughs> Dreamy rainbow float. So I was searching for rainbow float and the little rainbow floats come up. And I'm like, and there was a lot of women on rainbow floats. And I'm like, no, we got to have a man. So I found this one. So, and then of course I put the little screen on it. So. Well, with the, well, with the rainbow, you know, don't, you know he, he does, like he could be. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, there we go. So. But I had I I tried it in a mouth to lung R RDA, mm -hmm. and it actually is is doing really good in a mouth to lung. You pick up that citrus notes really well, and it would actually be good um, if you added some WS twenty three or something like that with it too. Yeah, to give it a more of a cool, you give it a cooling effect exactly, or even some fizzy sherbet from Vape Train. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot you could do with that. You could keep, I mean, obviously it looks really good the way it is, but if you do want to add a little cooling to it, you could even, and if you don't have WS-23 or any kind of mints or menthols that you don't want to mess up the flavor, it's going to sound weird, but I'm starting to find it with these new teas from Flavora. If you throw a little bit of like a black tea or something in there. Right. I think it gives, it, I, it's I get interesting because I have a recipe I was playing with Friday night and I was playing with, um, God, I need to tell him I'm on a show. <laughs> it's a different Michael um, that I help him with recipes and stuff. And he's <laughs> like, I need help bad. Um, <laughs> but um, I was doing um, green tea from Flavora. And mm -hmm. it is amazing the difference between Flavora's green tea and F Flavor Express green tea. And have you worked with those, Damus or Moose? Which ones? 
green teas from Flavora and Flavor Express? The Flavor Express one, yes. The Flavora, no. Oh, it is very floral. Yeah. Um, and it just has a total different taste to it. Like I'm floral thinking- Floral or earthy? Yes, yeah, a lot more earthy. But it's still tasty, but it, I thought I would put it in an ice cream, and but it did not work in an ice cream. I think the Flavor Express one would have worked better. The Flavor Express one definitely works in an ice cream. It's kind of wet tasting. Yes, but that the Flavora one, no. Yeah, I heard that one's more, has a much stronger matcha note to it than Flavor Express's, yeah, it and it's a bit more drier and earthier. It is. I believe that, yeah. But I do, I mean, I have a green tea, the green tea ice cream pocky. So it's like, oh, yeah? yeah, it's green tea ice cream with like pocky bits in it. You know, the little Japanese pocky candies or oh, yeah. biscuit. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a little biscuit stick and they got the coating of something around it, like a frosting, hard frosting. So it's, they have like a green tea one, a chocolate one, strawberry ones, hmm. mint chocolate ones. They have, they have them galore. Nice. Uh, you can find it. It's on my, all the, all the flavors. Dina's my other recipe isn't done at all. Uh, Alfredo, do you like vaping uh, ice cream flavors? I love them. What ones do you like the most? Um, I had a mix. Um, it was a vanilla bean ice cream. I don't have the recipe on me, <laughs> but uh, I really liked it. Uh, just the richness of the, of the vape, the sweetness. I'm a dessert, not like what Doc calls fat kid flavors. Oh, yeah. I love fat kid flavors, dessert flavors, ice cream, it's cereals, it's, cookies. That's fat, that's fat kid all, all the way right there. I'm getting some tomorrow. Nice. Moose, I got you it. To share that recipe, or okay, you got it. Cool. So here we have a master machi green tea ice cream pucky. Ah, nice. <clears throat> so um, I used uh, ID Ten Teas like ice cream base. He came up with a good one a long time ago for longing. It's really mm -hmm. simple. Just uses vanilla. LB's vanilla ice cream, liquid barn. Uh, Flavor is cream at 1% and Flavor Arts cream fresh at 1%. And uh, I know where is shisha vanilla. Um, so those four make up the ice cream base. I like to add, especially for this profile, I added the vanilla bean gelato just to make it a bit deeper. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sugar cookie acts as the Pocky, obviously, and then you have Flavor Express's green tea at a very low percent. You go any higher than that and you're- Oh you're, yeah, you're that's a good percent for that. It like, com it's like completely, it, you go any higher than that 0.75 and it's like not, I don't know what it is, but it's like not green tea. It's really weird. Yeah, <laughs> I've used it before and that's, yeah, that's a good percent for that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you, like for some reason at one percentage it's, it's like the green tea gets thrown out the window and it's something else it's like huh. it's like perfume without any essence or aroma in a bottle it's really weird <laughs> it's like i don't know it's very very strange but yeah that's it cool um, and it's kind of like the green tea works in this because it's it's wet like i was saying before it doesn't like dry up the recipe at all, the sugar cookie kind of does that. It gives you a little bit of grittiness mm -hmm. and it also, it kind of attaches itself to the green tea and it helps to not make it taste so much like you're vaping a cup of green tea. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you're not, you're not vaping liquid green tea. It's more of like, it's been infused into an ice cream. So, that makes sense. Yeah, and then, like when you eat the ice cream, it does <clears throat> even without like the pocky bits, it does kind of have this powdery because I usually use like a matcha powder and just mix that into the the ice cream and boom, it's mm -hmm. done. Yeah. 
and you can buy that at the store and do it yourself and it's right awesome right. you can do you can do lattes at home like green tea lattes at home with that stuff awesome highly recommend nice but uh yeah it it kind of on its own kind of has its own gritty powderiness taste to it like you like you taste the ice cream and then the green tea kind of hangs out at the at the end when you're eating it and this kind of does that like you get a little bit of green tea at the beginning but it's more ice cream forward and then green tea and pocky in the exhale very nice oh, definitely man. refreshing for the hot days we've been having yeah we got lucky uh, yesterday and today here has been perfect yesterday we had a little bit it was a little cloudy in the morning and a little rain but then it cleared out and i actually got some stuff done outside and it was breezy and today it's, it got down in the upper 50s last night and it's only like low 80s today hey we can tell mom that i shared screen screen shared all on my own <laughs> yeah exactly yeah wow, she'll be Go proud. i get a star for effort too today. train wheels came off <laughs> He didn't have a choice. Mom wasn't here to babysit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she just pushed him out in traffic and said, go, motherfucker. <laughs> Give me the right routes to stay on the path, but I got to find my own wings to fly. That's right. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, Mary Beth is chilling in the Bahamas on a cruise ship. and mm -hmm. Bahama Mama. At 7 a.m. and having a good old time. She's a Bahama Mama right now. That's right. We'll have her back next week. Okay, I am sending you a link, Frank, for my other one that I wanted to share. Uh -huh. And I'm going to let you screen share it. <laughs> okay. Unless Frank, I mean, Moose says something else real quick. What did I say? Do you have another recipe before I... Oh, it is nowhere near done. Go right ahead. Okay, well, go ahead then, Frank. All right, just where are you sending my... I don't know what, like, ever since the 4th or right before the 4th, the internet has just, and we, I mean, we have at and but yeah. it's just been really crappy. I don't know why. That's weird. Where are you sending it? Because I didn't get anything yet. Oh, it's over in the group chat. I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? I, I know what I did. Let me, oh, there it is. Cool. All right. See, I, I didn't. I had it covered on my screen, so I. I oh yeah, there's so many things up. Yeah. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I only have the one screen, so I'm trying oh, to manage everything. I like to try that green tea ice cream. Mousse. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it because I, I have all that stuff. Okay. The banger. In the picture. <laughs> it's rated G. Oh, is there a picture to it too? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. it shows you what the what it looks. Oh, and then there's a review by Mopped too. We yeah, we missed Mopped. Mopped bear, his ass bear, be back next week. Yeah, we missed Mopped. He'll be good. Okay. All right, pull it back up. There we go. All right, so fried butterscotch ice cream. This is like one of my favorites that I I did like back in well December into last year. Um. And basically I have the ice cream base, my liquid barn ice cream with my Hankson ice cream as my base. And then I have the, oh my gosh, the, you know, the butterscotch, butterscotch triple mm -hmm. for the, to make it the butterscotch ice cream. And mm -hmm. then for the outside, if you will imagine of the ice cream, I have the breakfast cereal like coating it flavor art breakfast cereal and i use just that little bit of flavor art joy and i personally do not enjoy flavor art joy <laughs> it's something you it's, it's something you use very very sparingly just like yes, you so, and i've played with that forever like flavor art joy and i use it at 0.25 and right off the bat it's I, I like to let this steep for at least two or three weeks, at least. Yeah. But it is absolutely delicious after it's steep. I, I mean, it is like amazing. Now, would you suggest is if you know, for people that either don't have joy or they flat out hate joy, because I know there's a lot of people that have a hatred towards that flavor and like they don't get, they don't experience the joy in it. <laughs> uh, could you use a uh, Wonder Flavors uh, fried dough? 
Um, sure. I mean, I, I think I've had people do that, actually, use fried dough. You're using maybe like at a half or maybe. Yeah, like, something like that. Right, just yeah, well, you probably that. wouldn't because you won't want to run up too high because you don't want it to overpower everything else. Right. No, you don't. Because it's not like a it's not like a doughy outside. So you don't want to yeah. have that extra dough in it. You know, so. But just to sub out. just Right. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's one of those recipes and I try to do a lot of my recipes like that. If I can, you could sub a lot of things, the ice creams and. Mm-hmm. stuff like that your butterscotch but it's really hard to sub like the caramel rice crispy trees that kind of helps um i haven't tried it without it but to me um that flavor is like it helps with the texture and the taste of that caramel and it's just an amazing flavor i love that stuff I'll put this, i copy, copy this and put it in the chat so everyone can, and then I'll stop share. There we go, we back. Throw that out there. I, I just Next Sunday is International Joey Hendrix Day. She needs her mop head. Today's her. I think next week's her birthday? Yeah, next week I think it's her birthday. It's the day before my daughter's. My That's birthday's right. on next Monday. Oh, the, is what day is that? The seventeenth. Sixteenth. Oh wait, I thought she said hers was on a Sunday. So then, okay, then my daughter's is the seventeenth. So my dad's would have been the fifteenth. Yeah, I'm getting dates confused. That's nothing new. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see anybody new pop in. Michael Katz, what's up, brother? Joey, mix this up. If you have the ingredients to mix up this recipe, mix it up, let it steep, and then try it next to the Mexican fried ice cream that you love from um, Chef's Flavors, and tell me if you see a difference, how different it is, because they're very similar. And honestly, I had never tried the Mexican fried ice cream when I made this. Um, and then, like back in March or April, I finally got some Mexican fried ice cream from chefs and thought, oh, let me try this. And I tried them next to each other. I was like, oh my gosh, this is very similar. They're very similar in taste. Here, I'm going to pull up a recipe. I'm sure um, Mr. Addy Tooney would not mind us sharing this. He has, let's see if I find him here. He has a Mexican fried ice cream that is killer. Let me pull it up here. Come on, computer. Do your, do your shit. It's up here. There it is. I'm sure he would not mind at all. Spread the love. That's right. Is this the one? He's got, you know what? I think he's got multiple ones. I don't think that's the oh, one he, I really like. He has so many. He's, you know, he's an amazing mixer. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The Mexican Sunday. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Now this one kicks ass. I think I did see this the other day and I was like, oh wow, I need to try this one. Yeah. There we go. This is what the wonderful Mr. Tooney did back in March. This is when the Kanaka soy craze was going. It's when uh Flavor released all the new flavors and a lot of people were mm-hmm. using them. And I love what he did here using you know, the one-on-one cream milk, cream milk, the undertone. That's one of his favorite flavors. Yeah. The crispy wafer. I've been, I've been, I've had that in my wish list for a while at Bull City. I just haven't gotten around to getting it yet. I finally got it. Yeah. I don't have Flavor's custard. I've, I've heard mixed things about it. What are you guys' opinion on Flavor custard? I'm sure Tammy, you probably have it, don't you? I have it. Yes. And I haven't used it much. I'm not, I've never been a big custard person. So that's why. But I've used it in other people's recipes, so I can't say bad things about it um, because what I've mixed with it's been good. But what I've heard about it is it's not the best custard. Um, yeah. And you use the golden butter from Capella. You know, it's very good. You know, butter note. You don't get that popcorn butter taste. It's more of a, you know, like butter you'd stick on top of your waffles or your pancakes or something like that. More of a bake note. The Kanako soy gives that nutty flavor. 
you know, be nice to, you know, to sprinkle on top. Yeah, I finally got some of that. I can't wait to use. I need to mix this one. Though. Oh, I love it. I think it's it's an awesome flavor. That and if you put that and the peanut butter together, and you're gonna have. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a real peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna it's you're gonna have a you're gonna have a peanut. Actually, I probably did that with this recipe. I didn't think of it. Uh, liquid barn lava cake, of course, for his chocolate, and then uh, the version two of VBIC. I've never used that. Look one. at this. He's only it's four and a half percent flavor. Wow. Oh, he doesn't over flavor nothing i i need to try this because i need to see a four and a half i haven't mixed a four and a half percent flavor yet and i see you have his notes down here yeah it's like working oh, um, at least 319 18 is an amazingly roasted dried peanut flavor use a spanish peanut aspect that needs to be there Mary Beth of, mixed it yep I believe, yeah, I remember seeing that in the notes, yep. Wow. And if you want, you can add uh, some whipped cream. And if you want, yeah, you can knock down the uh, lava cake a little bit if you just want more of a drizzle. But yeah, this is definitely one of them recipes that if you if you don't mind mixing somebody else's stuff, this is one you want to get the flavors for. Oh, it's Mrs. Tooney. Well, it's, yeah, he made it for her. Okay, approved. I see yep. Mrs. Satuni approved. That's yeah, awesome. I remember watching this show, this Saturday show. Right. Yeah. I missed I missed um Fresh this weekend. He wasn't on yeah. Friday night. And th- yeah, because he was out. He was at the Vape Expo. Yeah, exactly. That's where I saw Freddie in the chat. He was out there yesterday. I saw him on one of Fresh's uh pictures on Instagram. Vaping oh. with Ken was there, uh Juicy <laughs> Jones was there. He went live from there. Uh, there's a few people out there. You know, I'm going. Oh, I'm supposed to be going first weekend in August to Charlotte, but now they've pushed that show because of I guess because of ECC Ontario is that same weekend. Oh, okay. They pushed it back now to the middle of September. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, there's Freddie. Yeah, it was awesome to meet Fresh. Oh, I bet I that's one I that was probably that. the wow. biggest thing that I missed. You know, by not getting to go to Detroit this year was me. I wanted to meet Fresh so bad. I was just like. You know, if he breaks my spine on a hug, that's all right. I'll get this ability. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, that, that would have been fun getting to hang out with them guys. Oh, there we go. Would you just drop their uh, happy camper? Nice. You gonna you gonna share that one with the rest of the class? I did a thing. Yeah, it looks that way. I did a thing. So we have Happy Camper. Stewart sells this ice cream. It's pretty good. Oh, Stewart's so, so bad. I haven't had Stewart in years. Yeah, they got some. They got some winners in there, man. <laughs> but the other one that I'm tackling is a blueberry pie in the sky. It's like oh, instead nice. of cookie dough, it's like pie dough bits and mm-hmm. very. Oh, it's Morse cupcake. Nice. Yeah, I use that as the chocolate, the graham cracker, and the marshmallow. So we'll yeah. see how that do, does. But uh, there's a little bit of peanut butter in there, a little bit of hazelnut to play with the graham cracker and the peanut butter a bit, kind of boosts it and helps it bind into everything. And then you have your ice cream base, which is the Liquid Barnes vanilla ice cream again. And I this this time I wanted it to be like meltier, so I decided to try the the cream milky undertone in there because I haven't done that against a, an ice cream base yet. I just used it for cereals, right? Um, but it's a the magic thing in a bottle anyway, so it's gonna work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just gonna say that now. Yeah, I just yeah. Horace cream to just add some uh, to, to like push the cream to the the front a bit because that's what that does to for me at least it, mm-hmm. I, I use it as an emulsifier just like as uh fa's fresh cream okay yeah um yeah and then the shisha vanilla to add a cool vanilla note in there because i like their shit i don't know why it's 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 i gotta edit that because it's not the right one okay and elr needs to purge their flavor list or- right i know <laughs> It's getting kind of annoying that people just can't take the time to put in the the one that shows up for everyone. Don't just make up any run of the middle flavor. 
Now, using the DX peanut butter, I've been hearing different things about the D, between a regular peanut butter and a DX peanut butter. It's lighter and less buttery, so it kind of hits peanut butter like better because like the 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 regular one's good for a strong peanut butter. But if you want a peanut butter that just sits in a recipe and doesn't just like hit your front as a like it just takes over your recipe as a peanut butter because that's TPA's regular peanut butter can easily do that. Like, yeah, you can overpower it. You go past like 1.5% and it's like, and that's all you're going to taste. Pushing acetyl pyrazine and stuff. It's got some notes in there that aren't pleasant. No. The, the DX version to me is just like a lighter version. Like yeah. It, like it's. <laughs> wow, which one do I have? It's like if you had a regular TPA peanut butter, that's like the crunchy, dirty, buttery peanut butter you can buy in a jar. And then there's the DX version. It's just kind of like a light smear of. Okay. <laughs> that's what it, it reminds me of. It's. Definitely lighter tasting. I, I kind of always like. I've, I have both. I've, I've owned both, and I've owned a lot of both DX versions and V2 versions, and then their originals. Oh, well, I'm gonna get the other one. If a DX version or a version two does well, like like Capella's Vanilla Custard, don't yeah. always just because it's a DX or a version two, don't always slam them or you know. Mm -hmm. write them completely off your list yeah like if you're someone like me that ended up with like early my early days of mixing i ended up with a few of those dx and version twos mm -hmm. find a use for them you just got to think right. outside of like the name in a sense oh like, that's like cap custard cap as a custard use it more as a just a basic cream yeah like a like a cap v2 you know, yeah, it's starting, to, right. it's starting to get some love again when everyone before thought it was just garbage because right. it had the no, it's, it's got its uses like yeah especially for someone like i like the dirty heavy oily creamy sometimes i like that that og vanilla custard mm -hmm. for like maybe a 20 mil and then once i've vaped that 20 mil i'm like all right i'm I need something going that here. doesn't mm -hmm. feel like i'm vaping diabetes in a bottle right <laughs> It's good. They they both have their uses. So I wouldn't, as a mixer that wants to be versatile, um, don't write them up right away completely. Um, and that goes to say, you don't always want to listen to other people's reviews. You got to take no. your own. Uh, I agree. Your own stuff in, into consideration. You know. Now the hazelnut in there. I have Flavor's hazelnut. With how much of, have you experienced flavors hazelnut to, to be able to say whether you know it'd be much of a difference? No, I haven't tried that one yet. Because at that low of a percentage, I wonder if it would really make a difference. If anything, I would do a drop seeing as most flavor things are. Yeah, what they are, but on so like, like a quarter <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably real strong. I would look on ELR and everything and see what averages people are using each one. Yeah, yeah, I've done. Yeah. I, I'm trying to go. If I, you I think don't, I that one if you don't have the hazelnut, it, you could get away without it. Honestly, I just did it to boost some graininess in there because the ice cream that I'm making is technically a like a graham cracker, marshmallow, peanut butter, chocolate ice cream. That's that's a lot going on. Yeah, to have a, the separate flavors to make it happen. So that's why I tried the Mars cupcake. It doesn't have to scream all four of those things it just has to have notes of them going on in the ice cream yeah i think it does that so Let's see i gotta let it see because i'm not trying that one yet <laughs> cool. have any of you ever used flavor west ice cream vanilla bean ice cream yeah it's i enjoy soft. that one too i think it's a good one yeah, it's a different animal. It's definitely a lighter ice cream out of all of them. I kind of compare it to com to Capella's, but less sharp mm -hmm. on the vanilla note because Capella's has a pretty sharp vanilla note, and that's I think that's why a lot of people don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, it can easily mute things too, but the Flavor West one, people have have praised that for a long time. It doesn't have a pepper note like TPAs. No, I don't. Cheap. And it's like I said, it's softer, so it's easier to kind of work with when you have, say, if you're trying to add fruits that mute easily, mm -hmm. they get buried or they get muddled out easily. That one's kind of nicer to use because it's just lighter on the profile. 
Nice. Definitely lighter than Liquid Barns, TPAs, uh, and the and the Hankson ones too. It's pretty light. One. It's even lighter than TPAs Vanilla Swirl. That that has some pretty deep notes to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Even though, even though it's supposed to be this, the vanilla custard without all the custard shit, it's still got some pretty... Yeah, it's supposed vanilla. to have like a little bit of a chocolate note to it. Kind of like yeah, a... it's got something, like, like something, you know, it's something yeah. that's, that's richer than the Bavarian cream and stuff, but almost as rich as it, too. Exactly. It's kind of warmer, if that makes any sense, just like Flavor West Bavarian cream. Mm -hmm. Like when you vape it, it tastes warm, but you can get around that pretty easily. Robert Jardine just popped in. He said he didn't get the update. Well, that doesn't surprise me none. You know, Facebook, I mean, uh, YouTube's been still playing with her, you know, still having analytic issues. That doesn't surprise me. Usually about an hour ends with, you know, a bunch of people will pop in because they'll just be getting the update. <laughs> it's been happening since uh, week one. <laughs> What a pain in the rear. Um, but yeah, um, let's see what else. I mean, I think we pretty much have all the vanilla ice creams covered. I mean, now the vape, vape train have a vanilla, vape train has a vanilla ice cream, don't they? They have a vanilla ice cream and a French vanilla ice cream and a, oh my gosh, a toffee ice cream or something. But um, I can, uh, I can hand out a recipe idea to the crowd if anyone's got the flavor of black tea and the boysenberry. I had both of them. Yeah, I've been uh, wanting to make, my friend had it before and he just, he kind of told me about it. He's like, this would be good. It, the only thing I'm missing is a good jasmine because flavor arts jasmine is fucking weird. Yeah. It's good, but it gets fucking weird on you. Um, but another popular Japanese ice cream is Boysenberry black tea ice cream. Hmm. And I've wanted to try that. Jasmine. What, was yeah, it's got a little jasmine in it. Like most of most of their ice creams do. Because besides the green tea one, sometimes the green tea one will, but they'll like pair it with like jasmine and coconut. Those three flavors kind of just pair <laughs> excellent together. Yeah, but, was it flavor or boysenberry? I get a flavor the jasmine. that anyway. So that's another one of those weird ice cream ideas that I won't say no one thinks of, but it's one that I wouldn't have fucking thought of. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, Karen Presley's asking, what does tea flavors add to ice creams? Well, basically, it gives you, it gives you a different, it's a, it's a different note instead of just having, you know, it adds a, not necessarily a spicy note, but just adds a little. It's different. The way I look at it is you have, a million fucking strawberries and cream, strawberries and ice creams and Peaches stuff. And cream, all, that, yeah. all of those Americanized ice creams readily available to you. Uh, and all, if you never need an idea for an ice cream, just walk into the ice cream aisle at the grocery store and boom, yeah. you've got 30 of them right there. Yeah. The teas with ice cream work really well because you could convince yourself, even though you're using an ice cream concentrate, to you, it could be anything. You can make uh, bobas out of them, you, you know, just a cream and tea. Mm -hmm. So there's popular street style Thai iced teas and stuff that people like. But the thing with like earthiness and ice cream, it just works really good together because if you vape that earthiness by itself, it's pretty unpleasant unless you're somebody that likes that. So the ice cream helps to just like bury the earthiness in all of that so if like it just gives you more of a palette to work in. and it definitely adds a lot of body like all creams do um i got an no idea yeah. that you're saying that i think i think it's just something different good it is i i just put you a recipe in the in the group chat that has effie green tea like mousses but it also has fizzy sherbet in it Oh, okay. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, my bad. I thought it did. But to me, I don't know why the green tea reminds me of that, I guess. I thought it did. It has green tea, mango, sorbet. Which, it has the sorbet. That's what it is. 
Yeah, I'll throw it out. mangoes a thing. Yeah. I've seen that before. A, I call it S and M green tea sorbet. Um, S and M. So the other weird ice cream out there that you have yeah. to really not care about your RDA is red bean ice cream. And Flavor Art makes one, but you just got to be ready for that thing to just destroy your RDA because it's well, a it's very awesome. invasive flavor. <laughs> not this, too bad. The bay base, and here you go. You got the big train sorbet in this one. The vape train sorbet, and that gives like a lemonish lime kind of taste. Mm hmm. Makes um, sense. It should be light on that, though. Sorbet by itself is just sugar and ice. Yes. <laughs> really, what sorbet is it's whipped sugar and ice. Now, if you wanted to sub out the, the green tea from Flavor Express for the Flavor, what would you run to me? About half a percent? Say three I wouldn't use it. Oh, and whole milk. Uh, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, you said that has a totally different note. I wouldn't because it's a totally different animal. Um, it doesn't go well with creams at all. Okay. Not like that. I mean, not. it would go good with a maybe a bakery note. I don't even know. Flavor Arts milk or one-on-ones whole milk would be good in there you need some kind of i mean other than the ice cream so i guess that's doing the milk but sorbet has is, is a pretty noticeable milk taste to it yeah it's a creamier ice it's a thinner cream yeah. like milk like it's got that mm -hmm. light cream but not like whipped cream and it's spun sugar it's like it's so much sugar <laughs> They, they, they put definitely more than three grams of sugar in that stuff. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the second one, strawberry, you could sub out something else for that, right? You can, if you don't have the second one, strawberry. You oh, just, yeah, you could. Right, strawberry or it's really good. Strawberry. Looks good. Yeah. Looks easy. That's not good. All right, let me stop sharing that. There we go. Yeah, with yeah, simple lemon lime, lemon lime sorbet, just to test it and learn it has some cooling in it. Quite strong at two and a half. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't picked that one up yet, but I don't have to uh, consider it. What is that? Which one? The uh, the vape train uh, sorbet. Oh yes, it's it, it reminds me almost of um Capella's lemon lime. Like yeah, lime lemon lemon lime, yeah. Yeah, not awesome. exactly but similar. Oh, okay. Blueberries. <laughs> Yeah, it's a couple minutes after. Uh, it's been about an hour. I say it's a little slow today. You know, summertime. Mix Life just got just got their show rolling. So uh, let's go around the room and uh, tell everybody where they can find you and get the hell out of here. I let everyone enjoy the rest of their Sunday. Uh, Alfredo, you go first. Hi, I'm Alfredo Ponce. Um, Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at a-M-P-O-N-C-E 81. I'm also at the vape shack.org. If you want to hang out, talk vaping, talk anything, um, I'm there. Uh, also, DIY Down Under Facebook group. Um, about it, Frank. All right. Thanks for, thanks for coming as always. Appreciate you, bud. No, I much appreciate it. All right, who are you handing it off to, Moose or Tammy? Ladies Moose. first. Moose. Ladies first. All right, go Moose. ahead, Tam. Go All ahead. Right. <laughs> well, first off, Tammy, thank you once again for stepping in. You did a great job. Uh, thank you. My pleasure. I enjoy it as always. I have no life. <laughs> you both would be proud. <laughs> yep. What? <laughs> you made mom proud. She, she'll be proud of you. Mm -hmm. I know I miss her. She's she's a trip. She's uh, she's awesome. Um, so I can be found 
as tan vapes on ELR and on all the flavors. And I hang out in Eat, Sleep, Mix, Repeat, ESMR, and also DIY Down Under. And you can see me a lot on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time at with the mixing with me mates with Pippa Star and many other people who show up and sometimes Frank's there. I try. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes and, it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I try to get there. Yeah. So um so come check it all out, especially at <clears throat> DIY Down Under right now. We're having a, a challenge mixing challenge where you can win lots of prizes and stuff like that. So come check us out. Um, so that's pretty much it. Go to Frank. Oh, Moose. No, Moose. No, Frank fuck me, right? <laughs> yes, you, you were late. That's it. <laughs> Teaser. I am Moose, as most of you know. You can find me on Instagram as the Moose Assassin. Mm. Oh, that's a new one. I didn't know that one. Yeah, I don't really use it. I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to follow you there. <laughs> So how are we going to find you there if you don't really use it? You'll find stuff. Okay. You'll Some form of me on the internet and through that thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can find me on all the mixing Facebook groups until I offend somebody and get kicked out of them. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm on eight <laughs> all the flavors as Odd Drop and no, on ELR. Yeah, you're backwards. Yeah. <laughs> I got to fix that, man. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Once I can get enough credits on all the flavors, I can change it. So review my recipes, people, so I can change my damn name. Thank you. <laughs> Shameless plug there. Um, but yeah, and then I'm in the lounge, too. I've been kind of a ghost lately because I'm lost in my gardens and doing outdoorsy things. Well, it's the time of year to do them, so. Yeah. yeah. Got to get that food growing. That's right. All right, everybody. I'll say thanks for coming. Don't yeah, forget to check out Adori Liquid. Let's see if I can get that camera right there. We go get you some of that for consequence. Also, you can pick this up. You can, it makes 160 mils if you buy the 30 mil concentrate for $16.99. So go fill your cart with little purple hearts. Order right, Adori Liquid. Get her cotton threads. Of course, I didn't bring it up with me. Uh, our friends at Flavora. You know, check them out at Bull City Flavors or on Wizard Labs or straight on Flavora or anywhere else that, you know, there's plenty of places in the U.S. and in Canada that carry uh, Flavora products. I believe Canada does. I know U.S. does. I know the Aussies don't get them yet, unfortunately. That's what screws up with all them damn good DIY down under recipes because then you got you can't use Flavora, so you're like almost handcuffed. I know. Well, with the co competi with, with the um, competition, yeah. Yeah. But you can still order them through chefs. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Chefs has flavor as well for people that are overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, ECX does too, but it's slim picking. Yeah. Right. And, and also, DIY Vapor Supply, they carry everything. Yeah. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, they're the, <laughs> they're the craft dealer of the DIY community. You can get lost on that website for three, four hours and then realize, I, oh, I, I spent $1,100? Oh, shit, I got to cut this shit back. I can, I can still pat myself on the back for walking away from that store spending only 20 bucks. Oh, nice. Good. All right, quick advocacy. You know, if anyone didn't hear about it, I'll bring it up real quick. Uh, there has been a glitch. I guess you want to say almost, well, it's, there's been a, basically a, a cyber attack on the FDA comment period. Uh, a quarter million anti-vaping spam comments have crashed, pretty much crashed the, the servers. What? Yes. Uh, I didn't hear this one. Yeah, I, I read about it yesterday. It's all over Facebook. Uh, so not quite sure what's going to happen with that yet, what the FDA is going to do about it to make it fair. But uh, yeah, keep an eye on that. If you haven't done the comment yet, you have till the 19th. Hopefully you can get it in and get their, you know, get everything straightened out with that. Uh, what are the chances, though? Man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like of course something like oh all yeah. right guys we lost them <laughs> exactly so uh that's going on you have jersey the tax the 10 percent or 10 cent a milliliter plus a floor tax and they have 90 days to do something about that if possible 
Uh, New York, you're good till the first of the year. Then they're probably going to try to fuck us again. Uh, California, not sure yet. Oregon, anywhere out of, not Oregon, I'm sorry, Florida. Uh, just keep an eye out. Uh, just, you know, keep an eye out on things. Yeah, summertime, things get a little slow as far as advocacy because, you know, all your politicians are chilling out at the beach or, you know, just doing doing whatever. They're not working, unlike us. So, uh, this, but this is the time they like to sneak shit in on us. Yeah, we're on those holidays. <laughs> exactly. So we're just keep an eye looking. on things. Keep an eye on your on your states. And you know what? It's twelve after. Let's get the flock out of here. Everybody have a good one. We'll Maybe. see you next week. In. Thanks yeah. for coming, panel. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Kenny thank B. You. You're late as always, but you, go get you some Kenny B. Coils. Kenny Shout B. Shout out to uh, Bull City for the fifty dollars I'm about to spend on you guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget. To, well, if you're doing it fifty bucks, so uh, don't use the coupon code because then you won't get your free shipping. Yeah, no, that's so weird, dude. Yeah, they change. I know time. that that really stinks. Really yeah. pulls my antlers on that. But if you go seventy five bucks, then you you get the automatic free shipping. You don't need their coupon code for that, so then you can use my coupon code. Go figures. All right, guys. Shout out to Bull City and their free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, 25% off till tonight at Kenny B. Coil. So the 18 people still watching, go ahead, check awesome. that out. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.